Hi, my Fired Up Picker friends. Fired Up Picker Jim Hammond here in Richardson, Texas. And you might be saying, Fired Up Picker, or you might be thinking, Fired Up Picker, why do you have sunglasses in on on the inside of the house? Well, have you ever heard that the future's so bright we got to wear shades? That's what I'm talking about. Talking about 2015 is only two days away, and uh, it's happened. I made the decision to go 100% into clothing so I thought I'd bring you guys along and uh, uh, show you that I'm I'm starting to box up some things that I got here in the fired up headquarters uh, you know that that I'm not gonna be carrying on my eBay store anymore so anyway I got my don't fear grandpa's here t-shirt on my new one that I got at thrift city the other day showed it on another video but uh, let's let's get to it here and I'm gonna show you uh, what I've got, it's not much, you know, In at the highest point with all these things in my eBay store, I had just over 200 items. Uh, I don't even, I might have reached about 210. After deleting everything Sunday morning, I left me with about 71 pieces of clothing. Uh, mostly men, some women's things that uh, I've put out there, you know, that I've been selling of my wife's and that's about it. So, anyway, uh, what we got over here is we have... Uh, you know, the repurposed shelves that I, I got from the uh, Nordstrom dumper, uh, dumpster, I, open top dumpster, I should say. Told you where I got it. And uh, so anyway, you see all the, the VHS tapes here. Uh, I wasn't trying to get into the VHS business, but the reason that I was listing those, uh, and I had quite a few, was because, number one, they were really cheap at the thrift store. Mostly, I was only buying the ones that were rewrapped or originally wrapped and uh, putting them out there in auctions so that it would bring uh, people towards my store when they seen that. Because, you know, when people are looking at your item, they can see your little red store deal there. And so I was using it kind of as a lost leader, but I'm just tired of dealing with them. Uh, it's not worth it money-wise. Every once in a while, you'll get one or a set that you'll sell for you know, six or nine dollars. I think the most uh, most money I got out of one was about fourteen ninety five. It was a yoga set. But anyway, so all these are going to be going away. I'm going to be boxing up all those. Uh, you can see here some of the garage sale knickknacks that I've been having in my store. You know, some mugs, some little items. I've sold some of these things, guys, but but not enough. It's more, you know. Uh, Watching the guys in the green room uh, and listening to them, you know, it, a lot of the stuff that you learn in there is so true because, you know, they say that the the seems like where the most problems come or the most issues with customers are the ones that are low end, you know, low price, just nothing. You wish you wouldn't even have enlisted it, and that's the way it is. I hadn't had a lot of issues, but it seems like every time I did have an issue or something. Uh, it, was, it was always with one of these low, low end, low price items, just not really worth it. So uh, you can see down here some uh, magazines, uh, NASCAR. Let me see. I don't know if you can see them or not. Can you see that? Jeff Gordon. Anyway, just a little bit of everything. These are some down here, some Martha Stewart uh, books, you know, a few years old or whatever, all brand new some collection some of these shoes are listed over here uh that are my wife's i've sold several pair of name brand shoes had real good luck with coach is really good uh here's some other items that have been listed in the store that's going to be getting boxed away so anyway just to kind of show you here if you haven't seen it before this what is that? Well, that's the Fired Up Picker on Facebook. So you need to come over to Facebook and like my Fired Up Picture page. I do a lot of pictures. I post stuff that I sell. There's a Cowboys Miles Austin t-shirt that just, a uh, jersey that just sold for 17 the other day, paid a dollar to garage sale. There's a new banner I'm thinking about using, and I made an announcement there that I was going all to clothing. There's the gam Las Vegas gambling shirt that I got at the thrift store the other day. I got a picture of it up there. I was offering it for sale. There's my last video of my haul that I did uh, from the thrift city the other day. Here's some pictures of some of those items. 
There's a long sleeve pullover that just sold for 16. There's uh, what I do is I do a lot of screenshots off my phone. I use my phone for 95% of my eBay business for taking pictures, listing, uh, communication with buyers. I mean everything. So every once in a while I'll do the last four sales. You know, there's a there's the pullover. There's an English laundry <clears throat> shirt that I was real surprised I didn't get more money for, but I finally accepted after a couple months, fifteen dollars. There's a T-shirt uh, that was a Marines uh, T-shirt, USMC, that sold for $20. One of my wife's tops for $10. There's a story that I shared about a shipment that I received for an RC car that I bought at a garage sale, some new tires. So, you know, just a, there's another video. So anyway, guys, that's that's what I'm doing. Uh, here's my desk over here. It's it's not real clean and it's not real messy. It's uh, just got some things going on. I've been doing a lot of planning for 2015. Here's my girls over here. Say hi, girls. My mannequins. And uh, my male mannequin with one of the t-shirts that I got from the thrift store the other day. And I don't know if y'all remember this guy, if you've seen that video, what happened, but I still saved this. This this came off of a box. I bought a set of like 17 coffee mugs, and when they came in, every one of them except three were broken in some form or fashion, and it was in a King Cobra liquor box. So I saved that just to remind me to always do my best at shipping. Here's a little fishing boat that I bought uh, at the thrift store just for myself little bit of my motivational stuff you can see there. Focus, Faith Stands, Fear Runs, John DeLemme, LifestyleFreedomClub.com. Some of my library here. Not everything by no means, but uh, some of it here. I got some ties getting ready to get listed. Uh, some otter boxes that I bought off of eBay. Uh, and uh, a pair of tennis shoes I bought at a garage sale. I even got a couple... Guitar Hero guitars here that need to be listed. I've had them for quite a while. I've sold one and shipped one. Had real good luck with it. And now that College Pickers got his guide out, uh, I'm going through that and learning more. But, hey guys, look forward to a great, awesome, fired up 2015. I'm getting ready. I'm making moves. Going into clothing. Doesn't mean that I'm never going to have anything else on my uh, page, but it does mean that as far as the bulk of the items, the bulk of the inventory is going to be clothing. And I'm going to be moving into suits, sports coats, and blazers. Uh, got the new guide from Rake and Profit on that. Been going through the videos. Haven't started reading the ebook yet, but I will. Uh, suits, sport coats, and blazers. And, uh, you know, I don't just do, like, name brand dress shirts either. I, I buy stuff that... Uh, I like the way it looks. I, I had a lot of years in the Western wear business. I used to actually go to market and buy for my store when I was with certain companies and uh, under supervision, of course, but I used to have a lot of feedback. And I did that for 20 years, so I've got a, a good eye for quality. I know things that look nice. You know, I'm not a fashion mogul. I don't stay up on that kind of stuff. I do a little bit because my wife is kind of. She came from that background. But uh, I like to have fun. I like to enjoy what I do. I like to be excited about what I'm selling. And uh, I want to sell good quality stuff. I want to sell good looking stuff and stuff that makes a profit, right? That's that's why we're doing this. And, you know, when you can go to garage sales and you can buy Dallas Cowboy jerseys for a dollar, two dollars, and I put it up for twenty four ninety five, and it sold, you know, best offer, seventeen dollars. Guys, even after your fees, you're looking at making fourteen, fifteen dollars on an item like that. And that's that's pretty decent margins. I know a lot of retailers that would like to have those kind of margins. So now the key is to get my inventory up to five hundred and to a thousand pieces to where I'm selling, you know, five, six items, ten items a day, and just keep that going and, and get that income in there. Cause now, look, I'm not I'm not killing it in sales, guys. Right now I've only got seventy one pieces of clothing, and when I had all this stuff listed i still was only selling you know a few items a week really i mean maybe uh four to five to six items a week and uh basically just you know not doing it as a hobby doing it as a business but getting in there and learning and and uh getting the experience and building up the uh the the customer feedback and all that stuff getting my system down so now it's time to rock now it's time to go out there buy some inventory uh Get serious about just getting that level up there 
and uh, so where I can get that turn and, and get that cash flow. So anyway, guys, hope you all have an awesome New Year's. Be safe. We want to see you in 2015. And uh, get down below, you know, like the like the video, share the video, come over and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to come over to Fired Up Picker on Facebook. That's what it looks like right now. Right there. And uh, like my page, guys. If I can do anything for you, if I can help, just just hit me up on Facebook uh, or send me a message on YouTube. Facebook, I'm there every day. YouTube, I'm usually there every day. I don't post videos every day, but I will be doing more. I've picked up the pace a little bit, and that's what it's all about. So don't fear. Grandpa's here. We'll see you on the next video. Stay fired up. Stay focused. Stay free. We'll see you in 2015, guys. Fired up.